Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is January 7th, 2023, and we are in the Old Testament. We're reading from the book of Genesis, and we're going to read chapter 7. All right, so we've, we've seen the creation story. We've seen God create this perfect Eden. We've seen God decide that he's going to create a, a, a mirror or, or an image of himself and put it right in the center of that garden. I'm going to call him Adam, and he's going to give Adam a choice of, hey, you know what, you can stay in this perfection in this relationship with God at the top and you underneath me as a, as a caretaker over my creation we can lay it we can stay there forever or you can disobey me and and do the one thing I'm telling you you can't do and, and that's essentially pushing me out of the way and saying hey you know what if I was in charge I could do just as good as you that's what Satan is it was tempting us as the serpent all right so that's the wrong choice that's the choice Adam makes unfortunately God came and says, all right, you don't want that that perfect relationship with me? You're done. We don't really have that relationship anymore. You, 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 we're going to be at a distance. You're not going to get to stay in Eden. You're going to go to that fallen world before I ever started declaring this was good and that wasn't and getting rid of it, and you're going to start over. And all the choices are going to be yours, basically. We see two lines come on, Adam. We see the line through his son, firstborn son, Cain, which becomes all about me all about that selfishness all about hey you know what i should be in charge and i should make all the choices in fact i can make choices just as good as god if i look at something that something's good and something's bad well i just i'm just gonna keep that good and i'm gonna i'm going hey you know that bad looks kind of interesting well you know but th this is really bad i'm gonna get well hey, you know that really bad is pretty fun too so that's where that cane line goes we just start getting further and further into that sin we see Abel, that's where that, that trying to get back into the relationship with God comes in. Now, Cain kills Abel right away, but we see an idea that we, we're going to see all the way through the Bible. There's always a remnant. So even though Cain kills Abel, that doesn't end that desire for the right relationship because God raises Seth up. They have another child named Seth, and he follows along just like Abel would have done. That leads us all the way to Noah. So we see that, that there's... That Cain line is just getting more and more wicked. That, that, that line that wants to be back united with God is still getting is still there and it's still pretty strong. It's it's starting to get thinner because it can't really compete with all that wickedness going on, but it's there. I mean, Noah built an ark in the, in his front yard, it took him a hundred years. And people were teasing him and laughing at him. But you know, he said, you know what, if that's what God's telling me to do, that's what I'm gonna do. God says all the animals in the world are gonna come to my door and, and walk into this boat on their own that's what they're going to do he says it's going to rain and flood the world that's what it's going to do that's where we are here so god is now putting in his plan that hey you know what that wickedness i'm done with it it's gone but i'm just going to be a remnant there's going to be noah i'm going to restart the world around your goodness so here we are in genesis 7 the boat's done and he's telling noah all right it's time the judgment is coming Then the Lord said to Noah, come into the ark, you and all your household, because I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. You shall take with you seven each of every clean animal, a male and his female, two each of animals that are unclean, a male and his female. Also, seven each of the birds of the air, male and female. Let me take these off here for a second. Keep the species alive on the face of all the earth. For after seven more days, I will cause it to rain on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. And I will destroy from the face of the earth all living things that I have made. And Noah did according to all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the flood waters were on the earth. So Noah with his sons, his wife and his sons' wives went into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Of clean animals, of animals that are unclean, of birds and of everything that creeps on the earth, two by two they went into the ark to Noah male and female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were on the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, on that day all the fountains of the great deep were broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened, and the rain was on the earth forty days and forty nights. On the very same day Noah and Noah's sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them entered the ark. They and every beast of its kind, all cattle after their kind, every creeping thing that creeps on the earth after its kind, and every bird after its kind, every bird of every sort. And they went into the ark to Noah, two by two, of all flesh in which is the breath of life. So those that entered, male and female, of all flesh, went in as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. 
Now the Lord was on, now, now the flood was on the earth 40 days. The waters increased and lifted up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters prevailed and greatly increased on the earth, and the ark moved about on the surface of the waters, and the waters prevailed exceedingly on the earth, and all the high hills under the whole heaven were covered. The waters prevailed fifteen cubits upward, and the mountains were covered, and all fish died that moved, and all flesh died that moved on the earth, birds and cattle and beasts, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, and every man. All in whose materials was the breath of the all in whose nostrils was, was the breath of the spirit of life. All that was on the dry land died. So he destroyed all living things which were on the face of the ground, both man and cattle, creeping thing and bird of the air. They were destroyed from the earth. Only Noah and those who were with him in the ark remained alive. And the waters prevailed on the earth 150 days. May God bless reading of his word, and may God bless you. Bye.